what, what are you doing for, uh, you know, for the future? How do you hope to catch their eye and beyond like what you did Sunday for the, the, to be on the Browns next mm-hmm. season? Um, just pretty much go out there um, every time and practice and just you know, showcase what I can do and work hard and continue uh, letting the coaches know that they can trust in me and uh, just try to you know, build a, find a home. And I'm pretty sure, hopefully I, you know, I did that. How important do you think the last two games are going to be for you? In terms uh, of that, tremendously important. I mean, um, you know, just to have you know good games, and uh, you know, every time you can step on the field, you, you put your resume on tape. So uh, I just want to go out there and uh, you know show what I can do, and work, play hard, and have fun. You seem to be very decisive. Like you, you, you make it, you make a decision. You don't yeah. just go. Has that always been part of your game? Absolutely, or? absolutely. Ever since I you know started when I played five years old, and uh, my dad always told me to be decisive and um, you know don't dance in the hole, get through the hole as fast as you can. And, uh, be a good runner. Edwin, you're kind of new on the scene here. Um, what, what kind of sense do you get from the guys as far as the disappointment in what this season has become? Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, we, we're young. We're a young team. And uh, I feel that there's a lot of players. You know, the team, period, is very hungry and uh, want to you know, get it done. And uh, it's a lot of frustration, you know, you know what's going on. So, But um, I think that, you know, we have a lot of talent and we're up and coming and we're going to be good. Some guys have had to wait longer than you have to get that opportunity. But what was it like for basically going two years w- without that chance? I mean, it was it was frustrating at times, but, you know, you can't lose faith. You know, God has a plan for everybody. And uh, that's all I was doing, you know, praying and uh, knowing that, you know, I know I belong and uh, I know how good I am. I know what type of talent I have. And I was just waiting, my, waiting, to my, waiting for my moment. Hey, Ed Runti, as much as you were, you were running it yesterday, pretty, pretty balanced with their use of you. Is, uh-huh. is that what you bring, and is that the type of back that you, you hope to be? Absolutely. Uh, I always wanted to be you know, a versatile back. You know, the, the more you can do it, the longer you're playing the league. So uh, I just want to you know, contribute as much as I can and, and help the team get a win. Hey, Ed Runti, what's, uh, what's the best 40 time you've had? My best 40 time, 430. Where was it? When, when and where? Um, at Michigan State. What what pro year? Day. Your oh your pro day. Yes. Okay. Four yeah. three you said. Yes. Do you, do you suppose just your size is why you didn't get drafted higher, or why do you think you waited till they waited till the seventh round? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't. I don't have an answer for that one. So you were, you were disappointed. I suppose you expected to go higher. I wouldn't say it's a disappointment, um, but you know it's, you always want to you know get drafted high. You don't want to because you know the type of caliber I had, mm-hmm. and the type of you know years I was having at Michigan State. And, um, but, you know, everybody has a plan. It's, you know, can't really control. You only can control what you can control. Has Norv talked to you since you signed Tuesday? Yes. Yeah, I mean, he just said, you know, be a good runner, uh, hold on to the ball, and, and uh, play hard out there. Uh, you know, this is uh, Buckeye country. How did uh, how <laughs> things going up for the Michigan State win? It's going great. You know, going great. I, you know, I was in Houston when they, you know, when they won, So, um, but I was thrilled. You know, the last time, you know, we were there, we came up short. And, uh, but... You know, it was a great feeling to see them get that win, and um, there's no no team that deserves it more than more than uh, the team and Coach Antonio. Did you guys have like team meetings today? Yes, yes. Who ran it instead of Chud? Is Chud is Chud here, Coach Chud? Yes, he's here. Is he? Because yeah. he had his wife had the baby. Okay. Did he tell you guys about that? No. He no. Didn't. <laughs> okay. hey, when you look back at the offense yesterday, like Gordon, I mean, we we have seen so much out of him. And, at times, the offense just struggled. Was it what the Bears were doing? Were you guys holding yourself back? Was it was it the wind? You know, what do you think it was? Um, I mean, we had a lot of you know mistakes that's going around, and uh, but you know, th- yeah. things that, that can be corrected. You know, uh, we had a great great meeting. You know, looking at the film and uh, you know, learning from our learn from our mistakes. So we know that when we come back on Wednesday, you know exactly what you need to to get this, get this win. You feel very encouraged. But- with your first game, it's not too big for you, and no, not at all. Um, I'm a guy that you know I like to spot, like I like to, um, you know, be, you know, every, put things on my shoulder because I, um, I was always, you know, the one to, you know, uplift the team or things like that. So I just want to, you know, play my part, play my role, and I help this team get the win. What's it do for your confidence? So I mean, I'm sure you always thought you could do it, but to go yeah. out and actually show yourself and show everybody else does mm-hmm. that make a big difference? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, because you know, in the back of your head, you always like you, you, you wonder like, hey, can I really do this or you know things like that? But um, by having you know a game like that and, and really show, you know showcasing my talent and uh, proving to myself um, that I belong, and it's you know just uplifting.
So just describe, I mean, it was only a two-yard run, yeah, but just describe it, I mean, because you look very decisive on, on that play. I mean, I'm just, you know, seen a, seen a hole and um, just hit it. That's all I was. I got, you know, nose from, you, have a, you got to have a nose from the end zone when you're down in, uh, in a goal line. So uh, just seen a hole and I hit it. Do you, uh, do you feel like, um, does it give you any kind of, uh, any extra sense of comfort to know that, you know, Norv drafted you? I mean, he, was with the, he was the head coach last year when you were drafted, yeah. obviously. Then he brings you here. I mean, is it nice to have a guy like that in your corner, a guy of that caliber? Absolutely. I mean, when you go to a team, you want to have some, a coach that, you know, really believes in you yeah. and uh, really sees something special in you. And, uh, I think Coach Nor uh, sees that in me, and I think he's a big part of the reason why I'm here. It looks like you got fresh legs. Is that what it feels like? I mean, this late in the season, I think a lot of guys are probably worn down. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, I def- I'm definitely fresh. Uh, but even if I play the whole season, I'll still be fresh. Um, uh, take care of my body very well. Um, you know, when I was in San Diego, some of the older guys say, I, you know, I act like an older vet, you know, because the things I do, and, you know, I, I just follow what the vets do. You know, my guys that have been in the league for a very long time, I, I ask them what do they do, you know, how do they think about it. So I just feed off them and uh, go, go do what they do. What are some of those things you're talking about that you do to keep your body? And just eating well, 